Hello there everyone and welcome to the Bird of the Mountain die set layering guide video. So first up I am going to cut all of my pieces. So for number one I have a piece of the caramel toffee cardstock and I'm just going to cut that using the first die. So I am using the little kind of shim that we have, the metal shim for the mini blossom, just to make sure that all of the details get cut perfectly the first time around. If you do find that your little die cuts are getting stuck in the die, just use the little hole that you have in the die to pop that out. For the second piece here, which is number two, I am using some of the Autumn Blaze cardstock. So again, I'm using the metal shim just to make sure that everything cuts perfectly the first time. And as you can see, that has popped out of the um, waste cardstock and I'm just going to use the pin just to pop that out there. And then I'm going to move on to piece number three. So this is die number three. And I'm going to be using some of the paper bag cardstock to cut this layer of the bird. Again, using the little metal shim just to make sure that everything is cut perfectly. Once that is done, I'm going to move on to some of the beautiful sand dunes cardstock from Altenew. And this is for layer number four. So I'm just going to pop that into place. I am using a little bit of tape just to make sure it doesn't move around when I do die cut the piece. Once that's done, I can just move that up to the top with the rest of the die cut pieces. I'm going to move on to piece number five now. And this time I am going to be using the mocha cardstock to cut this layer here. Again, using a little bit of tape and the metal shim just to make sure everything's cut perfectly the first time around. And this will add little kind of embossed pieces into there. And then going to move on to the next layer. And for this one here, I am going to be using the espresso cardstock. So this is a really dark brown, but you can definitely play around with all of these different cardstock colors to create different color birds as well. This one will create the little embossed pieces in that one too. For the little legs, um, eye and also the beak, I am going to cut that off some jet black. But before I cut this, I have added this onto some double sided adhesive. So this is going to make sure that when those little pieces are cut, they're already sticky. So I don't need to worry about adding adhesive to those little tiny pieces there. So we are going to pop this bird together now. So I have the first piece and then I'm going to take the second layer and I'm going to add that right at the bottom of the little kind of tail and the wing area here. And then I'm going to take the third layer and this is going to line up along the top of the head, the back of the bird, the beak and also that little cut out of the arrow that we have on the die cut pieces themselves too. Once that's done, we're going to move on to the fourth layer and this is going to add like a band across the bird's head and also some color to the wing. Again, that's going to line up with the little cutout that we have of the arrow. Same with this piece here, just lining the um, little arrow up to make sure that's nicely in. And this is going to line up along the top of the wing for the little piece that we have here. I'm then going to take a little pin and I am going to pop in the rest of the pieces. So I'm going to just add in the eye where we have the little indent for where it needs to go. Add in the beak, which is just going to line up on the beak. And then the same goes for the little legs. They're just going to line up right on top of the ones that we have on the first layer. And here is the layering complete. We really do hope this video helps. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again really, really soon. Bye-bye.